God bless you. Hope you're doing well today. Let's go back into this conversation about prayer. You know, I am a proponent for a lifestyle of prayer. Now, this is the reality of your life and my life. The reality is, is that you and I, we face issues. On a day-to-day -day basis, we encounter things where we need God to step into our life. If we're real and transparent, there are times when we come to a place where we don't know how we're going to handle the situation. We don't know and we don't have the strength to do it on our own. Now, this is a chance and an opportunity for some people to walk away, to give up, to throw in the towel. But there is also this idea. And the idea is, is when I can't do it on my own, I need to take time and pray. I mean, that's the theme that I've been trying to, to share with you over the last few weeks. And a lot of people say, well, I pray, Pastor. I, I, I pray. I pray 15 minutes a day. But I'm not talking about these prayers that get you to your meal or these, these prayers that, that get you to, uh, uh, um, to, make, to feel good like you said a prayer today. But I'm talking about a true communion with God, relational prayer with God finding places to cut yourself off of the, 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 the intensity of the world that we live in. I'm talking about when you uh, throw yourself on the floor and just say, Lord, I'm going to spend this hour with you. Or you come to a serene place and say, I'm going to shut off my phone. I'm, gonna, I'm going to, to uh, make sure nobody knows where to find me at this moment. And Lord, I need you to speak into my life. If you find yourself in situations where you're going through something you cannot explain or something that you're uh, uh, worried about, can I say this to you? And, and I want you to hear me really well. Do not panic. There's no need to panic because God tells us in his word that he'll never put anything on you that you can't bear. Now understand that principle. God has saying that whatever comes in your direction, you are strong enough through his grace, to be successful in it. But see, the thing is, is if you're going to be at your prime, then you have to come out of a season of prayer. You have to be energized in your spirit, man, which, is, uh, which comes through continual prayer. Now, I want to call you to the story. You know uh, that Jesus, um, the, he sent his disciples across the lake in, in Matthew, the 14th chapter. And the Bible says he retreated to a place and, and he went and he prayed. Now watch this. It was a stormy circumstance. Now, now the disciples, they were afraid, right? Uh, the, 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 the ship was being thrown to and fro. But now watch what happened. All of a sudden, out of the storm, out of the darkness, out of the pain of the storm, Jesus comes walking on water. Now let's pick that up in Matthew 14, 25, 26. It says, shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out on fear. Now understand this, the disciples were in a place where they couldn't understand what was going on. And Jesus, who had come out of a season of prayer, a moment of prayer, was able to walk on the very thing that scared the disciples. Understand that. When you have a lifestyle of prayer and when you find time to pray, you're able to walk on the things that drowned other people. Understand that when you come out of a lifestyle of prayer, you are able to endure things that other people cannot endure. They'll look at you and they'll wonder, how is it that you're able to sustain? How is it that you're able to maintain? How is it that you haven't lost your mind? Well, the answer to that question is you took time to pray. I, I want to pray with you that God would stir something inside of you where you would pray like you've never prayed before. Lord, we put these people in front of you today and I ask that you would do something in their life, that you would give them a hunger and a passion to pray like never before, God. Take them deep into your spirit so they know you like never before. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you and I will see you next week.